Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so it is my, there's only a few more collabs to go now really, but this is one of the final ones that you're going to see. Um, I have really been enjoying doing the collabs actually. This one is with somebody I've known pre-YouTube and it's with a lovely, lovely person who you would have seen in some of my other collabs, and that is Steph from Seeing Spots. I will link her video and her channel down below as usual. So um, this was one that I thought was gonna be quite good because we have done um, a lot of Use It Up project videos and we like the empties. I love watching our empties actually, that's one of my favorite videos. And I thought it'd be good to show our top five most repurchased beauty products and that doesn't have to be makeup at all in fact I think I've got one makeup item in the whole thing but I have some repurchases and um and I may even tell you how many times I have repurchased them so the first one has got to be the PS Love Primark 100 large um oval cosmetic pads and I'll just show you them a bit closer up. So they come in a long tube. They used to come in two lots of 50, um, and they used to be this sort of way. So it's a bit of a different packaging. And then they got rid of those, and I was really worried because I thought that was it. But these are excellent. These are the best pads on the market, and they cost 90p for 100, which is incredible because normally you only get about 60 for a pound or more. So 100 for 90 pence, and they look like this. So they're sort of padded on one side, Let's see if you can see that. Yeah, padded on one side, plain on the other, and they've got this sort of crimping around the edges, and it almost looks like it's been sewn here. So it just keeps it that little bit more flat, but they're very, very soft. I really like them. Um, I wouldn't say the most soft pads in the world, but they're so good. They're really good for taking off nail varnish. Um, you only need a couple of these to use with a micellar water or cleanser or whatever it is that you use. I love that they're big. This is my favourite thing. I don't get on with round cotton pans at all anymore, actually. One of these will do two sets of nail, two hands, um, when I take my nail varnish off. So they are excellent. So I really, really love these. I must have repurchased them now, oh, so many times. In fact, whenever Claire is able to, I always, because she, she works not far from Primark, I'm always asking her to go and repurchase these. They are the best ones. If you can get them, do. Uh, sort of leading on from that then, the second one is the Garnier Micellar Water. This is the old one, um, and it's got citric acid in it. It no longer has that because they formulated it, reformulated it, and then reformulated it again. But this is the one, um, the pink one, I, I call it, because they've got different colours. This is probably the best one. Um, I'm trying to get through this one. I haven't enjoyed this as much. It dries my skin out a little bit. So I haven't enjoyed this one as much as the other packaging with the pink lid. I don't know if you can see it's just a different lid, uh, but it, you know, I'm almost through it now. You can see, I, I do get through a lot of micellar water. I've repurchased this, repurchased this, repurchased this. I really love it and I will always use this one. However, I have been trying others. Some of them are better, some of them have not been as good, but for cleansing and taking off eye makeup as well, I've really enjoyed this. Now I know a lot of people don't like this. They think it will sting their eyes or it has stung their eyes. But it hasn't done with me, so I don't really have sensitive eyes. Um, it doesn't do anything bad for my skin. Um, and I use it in the morning as well, you know, like just as a refresh. So I don't always just take, I do take a lot of my makeup off with this. And I know people are really funny about that. But um, I might do a deep cleanse sometimes using a cleansing balm. But usually I use this. So And it's worked. My skin is it's pretty good. It's not bad at all. So the Garnier Micellar Micellar Cleansing Water is definitely a repurchase i must have had gone through about eight of them already in the past 12 months um next up you'll recognize this <laughs> i've spoken about this so many times the bourgeois java rice powder is one of my essentials holy grail setting powder and um, for me it's illuminating it's soft it's got a lovely scent to it if you're sensitive to smells you might not like that but I just think there's something very special about this. The packaging's different. The actual product is not anything like you can find anywhere else. Um, and I've repurchased this over and over again. It's translucent. It's soft. And it really makes my... I've got it on today. It really makes my skin luminous without being shiny. I have got a, a separate um, highlighter on. Um, but yeah, this has to be one of my most repurchased makeup products ever. 
so love that um second to last is a hair product and i've only got one of these left and i think they no longer sell them and this is the naked style gorgeous curls curl taming cream i might be able to find it on amazon actually so i might have a look but um this is a silicon free curl taming cream and i've been using this and conditioner in my hair only over the last um last week because i've been trying a new hair care method i've actually put my hair up for the first time in ages but I absolutely love this curl cream and I'm really gutted that once this is finished I might not get my hands on it again but I have repurchased this hundreds of times it was always in my empties videos you will have seen it a number of occasions but this is almost certainly the most repurchased out of all of these products so far this one is the one that I've repurchased the most because I do get through it um oh <laughs> oh excuse me but i absolutely love um this particular product and if i could find this sim or a similar formula of this anywhere else then i would definitely buy it and finally um i've got a little tub here but it's my most repurchased body lotion and it's the righteous butter the new formula i don't like this is the old formula let me just show you can you see how that is not going anywhere it's, it is a butter and i push my finger in it it is a butter formula it's a butter texture like thick creamy like butter um the new formula is actually just like a body lotion it's not a butter at all and that's very frustrating for me because that does nothing for me i feel like this sinks in better it lasts longer it's more moisturizing so i don't know what they've done to the formula in the bigger tubs uh, in the bigger tubs they have reformulated it and i don't like it i don't know if they're going to change it back um that's sunken straight away i love it my hands are so dry though so i'm not surprised but in these little ones at the moment that i got in um gift sets these ones have been the old formula so the old formula is the one that i will repurchase and continue to do so if they do not change the formula back then I will have to find something else. I've been using the body shop ones and it's just not the same. They don't sink in as quickly. The fragrances don't last as long. Um, so yeah, I'm not entirely keen on the new formula at all. It does do the job, but it's not the same. And if they could just, if they could just bring this back, I would be really, really happy. So um, yeah, great product. I love the scent, Claire hates the scent, so I don't often put it on, so it's quite good that I've got these little tubs now, but I would definitely recommend it to somebody who, like me, suffers from dry skin. It moisturises, and it leaves you, like, if you put it on after a bath at night time, in the morning, you can still smell it, and you can still feel it, which is what I really like about it. You just feel really, not feel it in a greasy sense, but feel, pardon me, <laughs> but feel it in the sense that you still feel moisturised. And that is my top five. I'm looking forward to seeing what Steph's top five are, um, most repurchased products are. And um, like I say, I'll link her, her information down below, her channel and the video. And I, um, yeah, go and check her out. Please subscribe to my channel. I always ask, but the, my, my channel is growing and I'm so grateful. I, I would still continue doing YouTube if nobody was watching. I don't know why, because that would be silly, but I do enjoy doing it. And I hope you realise that that is the reason I'm doing it is not just um, to get views and to get subscribers, but I enjoy the interaction. I try my hardest to answer all of my messages and interact with people as much as I can. And I'm just so grateful that you guys have joined me on this journey. Anyway, I'm going to go. Thank you so much. Um, give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and let me know what your top five or at least your top repurchased items are because I'd like to know I like to think that if we're repurchasing them they must be good so give me a, um, a little comment down below and let me know and I will see you in my next video bye guys